Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to add custom repeating uh, text in your bullet list. Let's say that you have 20 bullets in your bullet list and you want to have some text that's repeating in every single bullet in that list, but you don't want it to you don't want to edit it every time you or to insert it every time you start typing a bullet list item, but you want to be able to control uh, what's written there from one single place. So let's go to the text editor and insert our list here. And let's say that I want the list to be uh, list item one, list item two, list item three, list item four. So list item will be the part that's repeating. And to in, an easier way to do this, instead of typing it 5, 20, or 40 times in the list, is to create a list with just a part that's not repeating itself. So let's say my list will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for example. And let's create a bullet out of this. Now, if I go to the advanced panel, and if you are using uh, Elementor Pro version, you will find custom CSS field, and we can edit our code directly here. If you're using a free version, I will come back to that a little bit later in this video. So type in uh, selector. So we will type in list item, double column, and before. What before does is that before the list item content, it will add some custom content that we define here. So let's place content and our content will be list item. And there you go. So now if I want to change this, I don't have to retype six or 10 or 15 times, but I can simply say that I want this to be list item updated or something like this, and it will automatically update this in all my bullet item, bullet items in my list. If you are using a free version, you won't have the custom CSS option here. So in order to apply this effect, you first need to go to the advanced panel and advanced, or let's say tab, and create a class for your bullet list. Let's say bullet list. Click on update, go back to your CSS code. I'm using a simple custom CSS and JavaScript plugin to insert my code, which you can find in the description uh, with the link. And now let's style our uh, class. So bullet list, and we will use the same logic. So I will use a list item before, and the content for this uh, element will be, sorry, it will be a list item. Let's close it, update, and let's see what this does. There you go. So for both free and pro version, you have an easy option to do this and to control um, this string from a single place. Now let's see what happens if you want to have a piece of repeating text, but after the bullet uh, text, not before. Uh, basically, we will use uh, the same principle to go to the custom CSS or in the uh, CSS uh, plugin I showed previously. Selector, list item, but instead of before, we will use after, so the element. And here, now we can use the content, and our content would be, let's say, again, list item. Just this time, we will have to use space. And as you can see, it applies the same effect, but after the text, not before it. Click on update. Let's see how it looks like. After refreshing the page, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to give a like, leave a comment below or subscribe.